Hello, I'm Dr. Heidi Horsley, Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation. And I'm here today with Yi Fong. Hi, Yi. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Sure, happy to. My name is Yi Fung. I work for Live On New York, and right now I used to work as a designated requester, but I also specifically now work with donor families in the aftercare department here at Live On New York. So a lot of my work is working with bereaved families and helping them connect to the recipients as, as well as linking them to services in terms of bereavement group and all kinds of services for families who are dealing with such a challenging time. Wow, yeah, I love the work that you do. It's so important. So you're working with bereaved families that's loved ones have donated their organs. Absolutely, uh, who've donated their solid organs and who've also donated tissue as well. So we try to support our families and make sure that their gift of life, you know, is respected and that, you know, we do everything we can to continue that connection for their loved one and for our donor family. Yeah, I love this. And I work with a lot of families that have had the death of children. And they say that the only light in all of this is that they know that those organs saved so many lives. And I'm sure you see that every day in the work that you do. Yeah, and we now know that, you know, families didn't get a choice, that choice of losing their loved one. But they do get a choice of how they make meaning of that loss afterwards and they can make that choice if they choose and feel that's right for them to donate you know and to have their loved one live on in that way you know and it's so precious for families and we know now studies show that families who are able to make meaning out of their loss um, deal much better with the loss and have communities around them that support them you know and when you make that decision to donate you're joining a community of donor families and we hope that in some ways that obviously does not take away any of the pain of the loss, but we hope that it gives them some lifeline that they have friends and other people who care about them, you know, in that donor community. In my own family, you know, um, I'm a registered donor, so I'm on the registry. My own family, you know, it was a hard decision to talk about that with my family because in Chinese culture, unfortunately, it's a taboo subject to talk about loss, and it's sort of the feeling is that you're tempting fate to talk about this. You're bringing it to premonition, bringing it to fruition by talking about this. In my own family, you know, my parents are from um, Malaysia, we're Chinese, but we haven't really talked about, you know, how they want their end of life decision making, you know, to look like. And we haven't talked about that until I said I was an organ donor. And it started that conversation. But it was a hard conversation because my parents thought by making that decision, it was bringing something to fruition that wasn't good, putting bad energy out there into the world. By talking about about death and dying. Um, in the Chinese culture, there's a lot of superstition about that. But our hope is that we can change that, you know, and see that this is part of that circle of life. You know, from the moment we're born, we know that one of these days, we unfortunately can't be here forever. And that's just the reality of this mortal flesh, you know? And so to help our families, to help ourselves, you know, through that transition, to have that conversation so we know how we want to face it, right? We don't always get choices in life but there are other choices that we can make you know and where we have choice let's let's do that let's make choices where we can wow this is really big I mean you're on the forefront of really changing perception in in your culture and getting people to have those conversations and opening up communication and I want to thank you so much for everything you're doing for the donor families and for providing hope for so many out there after a loss Thank you, Yi. And this is Dr. Heidi Horsley from the Open to Hope Foundation.